Hi everyone, Adam with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima Ladder Roller. This is going to be ideal for loading up those longer loads whenever you're by yourself and to protect your bars. So sometimes you don't necessarily have somebody to give you a helping hand. This ladder roller is going to make it really easy for you to do it by yourself to one, make it easier on you and easier on your bars. So I would consider this a multi-purpose product. We can also use it with our kayaks here and basically do the same exact thing with our ladders. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna again, just protect our bars and also just protect the bottom of our kayak from any scratches. Cause we do know when it gets scratched up, we're not gonna flow through the water near as well. We can even use these with our stand-up paddle boards. And even if we're on a construction site and have a full bed of goodies, we can also utilize our roller just to store some lumber. Literally the possibilities are endless here and it's just for the ease of you and just to protect your investment. In this case, it's our bars. So our roller here is going to work with the Yakima bars that have the T slots on the top. And these brackets are going to be made of steel with a nice powder coated construction. So you don't have to worry about them rusting away over time. As you can see here, it is the perfect length for this ladder we're using now, and it is gonna span about 24 inches across. So in my opinion, what I would really like this for is just because it's gonna protect your bars. Whenever you're loading stuff up, especially on a truck that's a little bit bigger, you're gonna be scratching the edge of your bars, and it's just eventually not gonna necessarily look too good. This way it's gonna protect your investment, and also it's not going to scratch your ladder either just because we do have a plastic roller here so it's not going to do anything like that it does weigh in about two and a half pounds but has a weight capacity of 75 so you should be good loading up any size ladder so our ladder roller kit does come with all the hardware included and it comes with a tool to tighten everything down it's really really easy so let's just go ahead and show you so the first thing we want to do is take our tool and remove this little nut on the bottom of our bars to take our cap off. And it is just gonna fall out, so be very careful. And put it somewhere where you think you won't lose it. We can take our cap off. So to get this rubber out of the T-Track, what I'm gonna do is actually just kinda push on the top of it just to get a little lip out, and that makes just peeling it back pretty easy. We don't have to completely take it off. I'm gonna actually just peel it back and put it in between our bar and our tie down point there, just for now. And then what we can do, we can take our roller and I already just put the bracket on, put this little pin through here. And basically what we're gonna do is, we're gonna have a washer, our bolt, and our little track here. And what we want, is we want it to be a little lower than our bars. So make sure you put the bracket in that orientation. And we can take it and start feeding it through. We can go ahead and line it up as centered as we can. So then we can go ahead and replace our cap with the circle on the bottom. Put that in there. And again, be pretty careful just so you don't drop this bolt. So I do have it pretty much centered. So what I'm going to do is just tighten it down just so it won't move. It doesn't have to be too tight for now. So we will come back and tighten it up once we're completely finished. Now you can go ahead and cut our rubber here. And we're going to cut in three different pieces, this piece, the center piece, and the one on the end. So Yakima does recommend these eye bolts, and they're just going to work into these T-slots here. And they will work with other bars other than these HD bars as well. All you need is just a T-slot, and you got to cut some rubber just to make sure they fit. So another thing I would add that Yakima does have is these load stops and basically they're going to go into your T-Track and basically it's just going to keep your ladder from going right or left whenever you're loading it up. 
it might be something you might want to get. So now we can go ahead and put our ladder on there. I'm going to lean it up against it. And move it up. Well, everyone, thanks for tuning in, and I hope this video helped. Again, we were taking a look at the Yakima Ladder Roller.